One of the things that people like to do on their computers is play video games, and increasingly Linux has become more and more of a platform for gaming, which has a lot of people wondering if you can game on the inexpensive Pinebook Pro. And that's what we're going to be exploring in today's video, right now on the Linux Lounge. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining Odyssey, the freedom respecting alternative to YouTube. Links in the description. So indeed, today we're going to be talking about gaming on the Pinebook Pro. Now, sadly, the Pinebook Pro has several limiting factors when it comes to gaming. The first of which being that the hardware just isn't very high end, which is to be expected for the price that you pay for the Pinebook Pro. However, this is especially problematic given that it has to drive a 1080p display when gaming, because yes, the Pinebook Pro has a 1080p screen. Another problem is that the Pinebook Pro has an ARM CPU, whereas most games are designed to work on x86. While it is true that you can emulate x86 on the Pinebook Pro, performance is poor, and in my experience, no games are really playable using this method. So, that being the case, when gaming on the Pinebook Pro, you're sadly limited to open source games and emulating retro consoles. So in today's video, we're going to be covering what games you can run natively on the Pinebook Pro, as I'm going to cover emulation on the Pinebook Pro in a future video, since it's actually quite an interesting subject. Also, in case you were wondering, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Manjaro ARM, since it has the most up-to-date drivers for the Pinebook Pro's hardware, which should improve performance and game compatibility. So, first for this experiment, I tried out a simple 2D game. Super Talks, which is basically a Super Mario clone. This is quite an old game at this point and is definitely considered an open source classic. And as you can imagine, it ran really well, even at 1080p. And although this game is definitely nothing fancy graphically, it can definitely keep you entertained for a few hours. So it is cool that the Pinebook Pro can run it. It's also safe to assume that the Pinebook Pro can run many other open source 2D games too, which means you can definitely scratch a gaming itch with this device, even if it really, really is not a gaming laptop. Next, I decided to try a basic 3D game, and for that I decided to install and run another classic, Extreme Tux Racer. Extreme Tux Racer isn't a demanding game by any means, but it certainly is great fun and actually works pretty well on the Pinebook Pro. I left the graphics settings at the default of 3 and the resolution once again at 1080p, and sure enough the game ran reasonably well. It definitely isn't as smooth as I'd like, but it definitely is playable, and you could certainly have some great fun with this. This. So, from this result, I can say it's probably safe to assume that other simple 3D games will also work just fine on the Pinebook Pro. Next, I decided I wanted to try something a little bit more demanding, or demanding by the Pinebook Pro standards anyway. So for that, I decided to try a little bit of Mime Test. I remember in the past that this game actually had a lot of graphical glitches on the Pinebook Pro, but that seems to not be the case anymore. I can run the game at full screen 1080p, absolutely fine. And although I decided to reduce some graphic settings for the sake of performance, this game actually does run fairly well. Although there are some slowdowns here and there when a lot of things are rendering in. But with that said, you could definitely have a lot of fun with this if you're a fan of Minecraft. It's also worth pointing out that I believe you could actually run the full fat proper Minecraft on the Pinebook Pro 2, since it's just a Java game. But I don't actually own it to test, so someone will have to let me know if that's true or not. Next, I decided to try a game that really pushed the Pinebook Pro to the limit, and sadly exposed one of the device's greatest weaknesses when it comes to gaming, and that game is Super Tux Kart. I ran the game at its lowest settings, once again at 1080p, and the frame rate was what I would describe as borderline unplayable and definitely not enjoyable. Now, you could run this game at 720p and that would definitely make the game more than playable. But the problem with that is, then you would have to run the game in a window, since the Pinebook Pro's hardware apparently doesn't actually support resolution scaling. So, if you want to run something at less than native resolution, it needs to be in a window, which, to me, makes it quite difficult to see. So, sadly, the experience of playing Super Tux Car on this device is less than ideal. 
Next, I decided to try another game that really pushes the Pinebook Pro, and that game is Exonautic, which is a fantastic open source first person shooter. Personally, I love my first person shooter games, so having one on the Pinebook Pro would have been fantastic, but sadly, it suffers from the same issues as Super Tux Kart. The game runs fine at 720p, but isn't really enjoyable in a small window, and at 1080p, the frame rate is just too low for me to enjoy the game. But with that said, I'm sure it's going to be playable for someone, so if you enjoy first person shooter games, this may be worth trying out. But for me, the frame rate is just too low to enjoy this game. Now, throughout this video, I've been covering only open source games, since most of the games that you can run on the Pinebook Pro are open source. But I wondered, could you run any proprietary games that are popular on the Pinebook Pro? And, well, as it ends up, you can. One game that I tried out is Old School RuneScape. I'm personally quite a fan of Old School RuneScape, so I really hope this would work. I went ahead and downloaded RuneLite, which is a open source launcher for the game that actually does offer an ARM build for Linux, and sure enough, it works really well. For the best performance, I enabled low detail mode, and it ends up, it actually runs really well, and it's actually quite a good experience. You could definitely use the Pinebook Pro as a RuneScape machine, which I've got to say, that's pretty cool. So with that said, that's all the game testing I did on the Pinebook Pro for now. I think I'll definitely make a follow-up to this video since there are always new developments happening with the Pinebook Pro. For instance, the device will soon support Vulkan rendering, which should be interesting for some games. Also, if there are any games that you want me to try out, please do let me know in the comment section below. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.